Donald Trump is further in the lead than any of these liberal talking heads like Tingles, Chris Matthews here, or Rachel Harry Potter Maddows, or any of these other losers that are up there on that stage ever thought that he'd ever get to be. Look at her face specifically. Look at her. Look at her. You see that face? The reason why I watch MSNBC during these things is because I like to watch people panic. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go to bed because honestly, I don't feel like waiting another 30 minutes to watch these other states close, which it's going to be hard for me to go to sleep. But I just want you to understand something. I saw this coming over a year ago. Here, look at the Trump finger. I saw this coming over a year ago. And I kept saying it, and I kept saying it, and I kept saying it. I kept having to argue with all these idiots who are on Facebook. I had to argue with all these people on YouTube. I had to argue with all these people. I saw this coming a long time ago because the, a lot of these people, they don't understand what's going on in this country. They don't understand Obamacare. They don't understand the insolvency of these, these, these social welfare systems. And a lot of people, in order for them to understand it, they had to get hit right in their pocket. And once they got hit in their pocket, that's when they understood it. So anyway, moving forward, if Donald Trump is to become the president and this map turns, you know, completely red or whatever, if he does become president, I want you to understand what I know or believe is going to happen next. And I guess I might as well say no, because at this point now you realize that I can see the future. The Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates. Already, I see them trying to gear up for tomorrow, and they're trying to say that futures are, are having problems on the stock market. Already, I see them planning to blame this on him, just like they blamed Obama back in 2008 when the stock market was down. And now, as you can see, the stock market's way up. Problem is, the stock market at this point does not represent Main Street money. The stock market at this point represents Wall Street. Understand, Main Street's money is pretty much out of the market mostly. Main Street's money is trying to keep its house from being foreclosed. Main Street's money is trying to figure out ways to pay these bullshit premiums on their health care. Main Street's money is trying to figure out how to pay for student loans and trying to keep their car in their yard. That's where Main Street's money is. What's going to happen, and you can, you can quote me on this because it really doesn't matter. It's going to be everybody's pockets in jeopardy. The Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates. At this point, I believe with $20 trillion, it's going to be very difficult to pay the national debt once interest rates go up. I also believe that what's going to happen is um, the government may go into recession because they're not going to be able to keep up the spending. They've been, I think they've been spending like $55,000 per second. That's how you get these trillion dollar, uh, these trillion dollar um, um, uh, budgets that they've been running that really, you know, it, it, it's ridiculous. But anyway... To make this short, what I'm saying is I believe they're going to raise interest rates. They've been holding off raising interest rates. I think everybody understands they've been holding off raising interest rates. It was a political move. Um, and that's just what's going to happen. So basically, I think the stock market is going to go through some fluctuations. And as you know, I've been invested in like marijuana and a lot of other things. I'm waiting to see what these other states that were about to vote on legalized marijuana have to say. But... Um, that's what's going to, I believe that's what's going to happen. So everybody just prepare yourselves for it. Get your portfolios in check. I'll tell you what, Fox News or CSNBC, these people should have given me a show years ago. And uh, I could have been like Jim Cramer. I could have been a cross between Jim Cramer and Jeremy Clarkson. Because not only am I funny, but on top of that, it's like I see the future. And I told you, I told you this was going to happen. I made videos about it. I, I told you, I kept saying I got to argue with all these morons. Tell, oh, yeah, Trump's not going to win nothing. Trump's not going to win nothing. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure. And now here we are. It's, uh, what, 1238. And, and this man, has da he's damn near swept poor Hillary. What, what do you call it? Crooked Hillary. He's done swept crooked Hillary. And I also think something that's important to understand is Trump is absolutely not... Oh, my God. She's getting... <laughs> that's funny. So, anyway, I think it's very important to understand. Trump didn't just beat the Democrats tonight. Trump isn't a Republican. Trump beat not only the Democrats, but he beat the GOP, too. And that's important for you to understand. It's important for you to understand he's not a Republican. He's not a conservative. He's whatever he needs to be to win, and he just defeated the two-party 
majority monopoly stranglehold in America. And I'd like to give the American people a, a clap, but I only got one hand to clap with, so I'm going to just smack myself. And I'd like to give the American people a clap for doing what they did in Britain with Brexit. When everybody said, oh yeah, Brexit will never pass, it'll never pass. I'd like to give the American people a clap for rejecting globalism and keeping America, America for Americans, period.